Today we are in Vietnam for the first time and we are in the beautiful coastal city of We have just arrived here. It is currently pouring right now. The first thing we're gonna do is get some Vietnamese coffees. All right, we have just arrived. We will get one coconut coffee and one uh, egg coffee. Got this uh, coconut coffee. Look at the texture of that. So good. Okay, now we gotta try the egg coffee. Wow, the cow, my God, this is so good. That was the best coffee I think I've ever had in my life. We get one large beef pho. Just look at that. Mm. All right, we just finished our first bowl of pho. We're just gonna walk around, see what else we can get. Now we gotta celebrate with our first banh mi. Oh, it's so warm and toasty. Oh. Look at this. Look at all those meats in there. Got those sauces, got the egg, got the veggies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> My girlfriend likes to dance whenever food tastes very good. Right, we're just enjoying a little light breakfast here that the hotel has provided us. We just left our hotel. We're going to get some coffee and we're going to go to the beach. Check out the neighborhood. Pretty modern. It's like a lively beach town. Yeah, just look at this view, guys. Apparently here, when you're crossing the road, you just got to walk with confidence and you got to keep your pace. All right, that wasn't so bad. Look at this view. So beautiful. There's like nobody here. It's super quiet here and I really love that. It's like 10 a.m. It's prime time. What did you get? Coconut coffee. Mm. Yeah, it's such a nice combination. Like the espresso is very bitter, but then the, like the condensed milk and like the um, coconut a lot more sweeter. So it's a nice balance. This is uh, going to be our first time surfing. 300. All right, we're about to go surfing. All right, we just got finished. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, my body is just beaten up. So tired. Yeah, so tired. <laughs> very, very, very tough. Yeah, it was very fun though. Very fun. <laughs> but man, look at this city though. It's giving me like Hawaii vibes, but without as many tourists. And it's like as if Pattaya was extremely beautiful and clean. I'm not knocking down on Pattaya, but it's just kind of, kind of dirty. All right, we're about to make a trip to Hoi An. We got some motorbikes only for 100,000 Vietnamese dong a day, which is insane. I do not want to spin. <laughs> I don't know if she likes it or not. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, the energy is crazy here. <laughs> I 
All right, we just finished with the coconut boat rides. That was absolutely crazy. We have made it to the Hoi An Old Market, right? This is the yes. old market. So we're just gonna do some exploring, some shopping, trying some street food. Let's go ahead and explore. Now for any of you travelers, you definitely have to rent a motorbike. It would have been a mistake if we would have taken a grab or a taxi all the way here, because uh, just there's no flexibility. You just have to always pay. But with the motorbike, it's the best way to explore a city. I'm telling you, I think that was like the highlight of this trip so far, just riding that motorbike through the city. All right, we got ourselves some Vietnamese pizza. Mm. All right, uh, we do not know what the name of this is, but go ahead and try it. Mm. The bottom white is like a rice base or something. And then um, it's got this kind of sweet, tangy sauce on it. It's like a curry paste. And then it has some uh, fried pork skin at the top. Pretty good. All right, we stopped by a little food vendor. We got some pho bo. This was one of the best raid ones. It was only about 40,000 Vietnamese dong. Mm. It's much sweeter than the ones we previously tried. Now let's try this shrimp. Yeah, so much flavor. Yeah, just the perfect amount of saltiness. Got that nice fried garlic, green onions. It's good. Look at this delicious goodness. Juices and veggies and meats. We have arrived at Hoi An's Old Market. You guys know I love coconut. This is a grilled coconut cake. We got some coconut flakes, sesame seeds, some, I think maybe chocolate. And this outside is like an egg base. Wow, so good. Yeah? Good coconut Yeah, very good. Guys, check out the Rolex watches. Wow. It actually looks pretty good. They quoted me at about 700,000 Vietnamese dong. Look at this one. Yeah, very nice. I've seen a lot of fakes, but this one actually looks pretty solid, heavy. What do you guys think? Should Is it worth $30? Even the little details here. Hey, yeah. Only one, only for you. Only one, wow. only one, only one. How much is this one? About 3 million Vietnamese dong. I mean, look at that though. It's got the skeleton inside. Yeah. These look so legit and they're so heavy. For like Thanos right now. These are the best yeah. fakes I've ever seen. They have officially sold me. It's about a hundred dollars. Alright, this was 250,000 for lobster. That's a pretty insane deal. You won't even find that in Thailand. Go ahead and try some. Mm. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at this lobster. This is the steak of seafood. All right, uh, we are stuffed. We're exhausted. It's been a long day. We'll see you tomorrow. Today is the last day that we woke up really early to check out this beautiful view. Our next destination is going to be some beautiful cafe. I've got some pretty 
bad sunburns. So now we're actually at a dentist right now. By the way, whenever you're traveling to one of these like cheaper countries, it is a good idea to get all of your like medical, all of your personal things done, like manicures, spas, dentists, doctors, IV therapy, like all these things that you want to do. It's a good idea to get them done in like cheaper countries. So we're going to get teeth whitening done and cleaning done. That's only about $50. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal. All right, we just got our teeth cleaned and whitened. Now we're gonna do some shopping. We're at one of Da Nang's most famous shopping centers known for its counterfeit goods. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we just finished doing some shopping. Pretty tired, so we're just gonna do a little pick-me-up with some egg coffee and coconut matcha. All right, after this, we're gonna get our motorbike and we're probably gonna go get some pho and maybe do a manicure and probably call it a day. Dana exceeded our expectations like crazy how, how modern and how beautiful it is and how just how laid back and clean it is. I would highly recommend visiting this place. To close off this vlog, we are celebrating with another banh mi. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye! Woo! <laughs>